Hi, I'm Debbie, and today I'm at the Plow and Hearth Photo Studio, and I'm going to show you two different spring looks on our studio porch set behind me. So you're going to get a little peek behind the scenes today. We started by painting our front door this really pretty robin's egg blue color, and I'm going to use this same color for both of the looks that I'm going to show you today. So just doing this one thing already makes the front porch look very spring and, and inviting. So the first look I'm going to pull together is the cottage style and I'm going to start with the front door and I'm going to hang something on here and so I'm just going to put a nail right in the center of the door frame. Rather than just using a traditional wreath on the door, I'm going to place this metal tree um, on the door frame here and it just has a sweet spring feel to it. Oops. Look at that, with the cherry blossoms and the two little birds perched on there. And it really stands off very nicely on that blue door. So I'm going to add um, two white uh, fluted planters on each side of the door. So here's the first one. And that creates a nice balance. Now I'm going to place a really pretty petunia urn filler in each one of the planters. So a really important thing to do is to fluff the um, petunias here because once they come out of the box, they're going to be really kind of smashed together. So you just want to make sure that you're fluffing the tendrils and making sure that it looks really natural and flowing and, you know, making these flowers just look like it's growing out of the planter. So I'm going to add a spring-themed rug and this charming little birdhouse for a touch of whimsy. And that completes our cottage look. Our second look is going to be a farmhouse style, and I'm going to place this forsythia wreath on the front door. And forsythia always reminds me of spring and it has that really pretty pop of yellow color and looks so nice um, compared with this robin's egg blue door. And again, you just want to fluff the, the wreath and give that a nice circle and balance all the way around. And look at how pretty the dimension is on this wreath. If we pull these little branches out, it gives such a nice depth to this wreath. So I placed a black rocker on one side of the door and I'm going to add a lemon pillow right here. And this is just a nice way to add a little bit of seating on your front porch for the spring. I have this great planter that I'm going to place on the other side of the door because it feels like it needs something for that symmetry and that balance. So I have a faux two-tiered topiary that I'm going to place in this planter and I have some styrofoam in here to secure it and I'm just going to place that right in there right now. Now that I have the bottom uh, part in place, I'm going to add the top tier to that, and there's just a little connector, and we're just gonna place that in there just like that, and I'll straighten it and fluff it all to make it look natural. So now that the topiary is in place, I'm gonna hide the styrofoam by adding some moss to the planter. You can always do uh, live plants if you wanna add dirt, or even faux plants draping out of the, the planter, but just a little bit of moss makes it look um, fresh and again it hides the, the styrofoam inside. A buffalo plaid rug really fits in with the theme of farmhouse and I like this light gray look. It really lightens up the whole theme here and I'm just going to place that at the front door and it's a perfect place to put your cute little rain boots before you go into the house. And that completes our farmhouse look. So adding just a few items really freshens up your porch for the season. For more spring decorating ideas and tips, be sure to visit our blog and you'll find that at plowandhearth.com.